is coming to the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year. They also celebrate this in Vietnam and South Korea. And you will see a lot of propaganda coming out from the Chinese government, propaganda, state media related to how wonderful China is and everything great. So things that you, the Chinese government want for you to see and definitely some things on this video that the Chinese government doesn't want you to see. Let's first look at energy. These are some of the things that China is proud about. Solar power, the best in the world. Wind power, the best in the world. Hydropower, the best in the world. Fossil fuel power, the best in the world. As we know, China has a population supposedly of 1.4 billion people. And with that, that major source of energy does come from coal. But they never seem to promote that they do have nuclear. It's not a big source of power, but 48 reactors are planned for under or under construction compared to two in the United States. Well, the United States has a lot. And you can see there that operational, under construction and planned. What China is also promoting, apart from the Chinese New Year, is come to visit China. What you can get is a 144-hour visa, that is a free visa, and that gives you like five days or something like that to stay in China in itself. Any longer, you do need to get a visa like this country, and I think Vietnam as well. I'm not too sure on that, please don't quote me. But this is the propaganda related to this, and also to entice people to enjoy the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year, for the first time ever since 2009. When people do celebrate the Chinese New Year, they will be going home. And it's the biggest mass migration in the world ever since near enough World War II. And it happens, forget about COVID, it happens near enough every year. It did start last week. And these were the train stations as they were last week, or one train station as they were last week. And 
the Chinese government is encouraging travel and this is their propaganda related to one train hub and they say we are ready for the mad rush, the chaos. does the chaos look like? Well, it started already. Please note, China is like the third largest country in the world or something like that. They do have an extensive train, high-speed train system, but they still do have the old. And this is what the Chinese government doesn't want you to see, including goats. what they don't want you to see. If you remember the quarantine camps of 2022, basically, that if you got a small cold, you would be sent there. If your neighbor got COVID-19, you would be sent there. Now there seems to be hundreds, possibly thousands of these camps which are derelict. What are they going to do with them? They've just wasted billions of the Chinese, regular Chinese people's tax. I do wish all the Chinese and for the people who do celebrate the New Year next week a Happy New Year, the Year of the Rabbit. And even in North Korea, yep, they may be celebrating this. I'm not too sure if they do or do not, but they did actually celebrate 2023, the coming of 2023 in the world's largest stadium with the idiot boy dictator, fat boy Kim. Do check out some of my other videos on my other videos. Let's do that again. Do check out some of the other videos that I made on this channel. You can see them at the end of this video. You can see them just by going to the homepage. You can see them if you follow me on Twitter, etc., and a little bit on Facebook, but mainly on Twitter. That's all I got time for. Like, subscribe and share. Please do comment. Great to share this on your social media. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who takes part in this video by clicking the subscription button, liking, 
commenting and also financially supporting either by the join button, the super thanks button or on my Patreon account. God bless to all and I will see you later. Bye bye for now.